What's up YouTube? It's Coach Cory, and today we got some of the biggest balance changes we've had in Brawl Stars history, I think. At least the number of changes. 16 brawlers got balance changes, so let's go over them all and I'll give you guys my opinion on each one, but I'm going to try and keep it very brief for each brawler. So starting off, let's move quickly. You got Colt got nerfed. His main attack range got nerfed 10%. It was 10 tiles, now it's 9. His move speed got nerfed from 750 to 700, about 7%. So uh, this is definitely a good nerf. Kurt, Colt was very strong. So now he's still going to be able to do a lot of damage, but he's not going to reach objectives as fast. And his range is going to be a little bit shorter, so he's going to have to get closer to his enemies. So he's probably going to die a little bit more. I think this is a good change. He's now not as strong versus other ranged brawlers. Is basically my main takeaway. And he's not also strong against melee since he's not as fast as well. All right, and then Ricochet also got nerfed. He got a health decrease of 14% from 280 to 240 overall. It's when you have a max, it's 14% decrease. So I think this is a good nerf for Ricochet as well since he was one of the strongest brawlers in the game as well. And he's still going to deal as much damage, so I kind of like that. But he's going to uh, die much quicker now. He's going to have the lowest health in the game by a decent amount. So it'll be interesting to see how usable he is with that low health, but I think it's a good change. And then Crow got a nerf as well. His jump speed decreased by 20%. So I think this is a good nerf. It'll be interesting to see um, how much of a nerf this really is, because I do think one of the best things about Crow was how fast his jump was, so you couldn't pre-fire where he was shooting. It was very hard to react to a Crow jumping in on you right away. I honestly think they could have decreased it even more. Um, I still think Kuro's going to be really strong. It's probably not going to be a huge change for Kuro, but it might make it a little easier to hit him as soon as he you see him supering. All right, and then Pam. Pam got a bunch of changes. So this is going to be really interesting to see how Pam is. Pam, the heal station, the health of the heal station got reduced by 22%, and then the heal rate of the heal station got reduced by 11%. So Pam's going to heal a lot less now. So this is, main takeaway from this is Pam is possibly no longer the best gem grabber and smash and grab. At the least, there's going to be other options that are viable. Pam's healing was so much before that she was by far and away the best gem grabber. So now it's going to be a little different. Now she also got some other changes. Her health got increased by 5%. Her bullets in each attack got decreased from 11 to an attack in, into 9. Um, so now each attack is not going to take as long to fire, but it's also going to deal less damage. But additionally, the reload speed of Pam uh, got in or decreased by 25%. So her main attack does less damage, but she reloads way faster. So this is going to be an interesting change as well. I think she's going to be, overall, this is going to be more damage. But um, it's going to be interesting to see how this affects her other game modes. I do think damage is the key to being able to be used in other game modes. So she might be usable more in bounty and potentially in other game modes as well. So it'll be interesting to see the overall effect of her healing be reduced, but her damage being increased slightly. All right, and then moving on to another huge change is Mortis. Mortis got a decent amount of changes too. So we got some buffs and he got a nerf. His health got increased by 14%. His damage got increased by 25%. And his move speed got increased. Hallelujah, there you go. Everyone's been asking for his move speed to increase again. So it increased by a little over 7%, almost 8%. So he got a bunch of buffs in that regard, and then he also got a bit of a nerf in that his um, attack range got decreased from 3 tiles to 2.3 tiles, so a decrease of 20% on his attack range. But I think this is going to be a great change for Mortis, so he's still going to be good in Brawl Ball, but this is going to make it harder for him to move up the mass map as fast with pass dash, pass dash. So he's not going to be able to do that as well now, but he's going to have more health. He's going to deal more damage, and he's going to have a better move speed. So he's definitely going to be better overall. He's not going to be able to move up um, as fast on the map just through his dashes, but I think that's totally fine. He's going to be much better in a bunch of game modes besides Brawl Ball. He's going to be worse in Brawl Ball a little bit, but he's still going to be a really good offensive option. So these are great changes for Mortis as well. All right, and then Nita got some buffs as well. I'm loving some Nita, Nita love. She got an increase of her star power healing from 200 to 300. So she's going to heal a little bit more. That's going to be pretty good. Not a huge change. And then um, her increase 
of her health got increased by about 12%. So a good health increase. And then her bear movement speed got increased by 10%. So that I really love. That's the best change for Nita. Her bear to me never got enough hits because it's just so slow. So now hopefully it's going to get more hits in. And it's going to help get her super back as well. Now she's a little bit health. So she's going to be able to survive a bit more. She doesn't do a ton of damage. But the health is going to help her out. And she's going to get a little more healing as well. So she's going to be an interesting mid-range character. Then Shelly got a nerf. Her star power slow went from 3 seconds to 2.5 seconds. I don't really think Shelly needed a nerf. She really wasn't one of the stronger brawlers. Um, but it's not a big change. So, you know, it is what it is. And then Tara got an... Uh, her super damage got an increase from 560 to 800, so a 43% increase. This is a decent change for Tara. It's not going to be a big change. You know, it's not a lot of damage. But um, I don't necessarily disagree with it, but it's, you know, it's a small change. And then Barley got his main attack projectile fly speed decreased by 15%. So it's going to uh, throw a little bit slower, so you might be a little bit easier to dodge Barley's attack. So I think this is great. Barley's attacks were really easy to land. Honestly, probably the easiest in the game. Has a wide radius and they flew pretty fast. So I think this is a good change for Barley. And then also he got a buff as well. His star power now heals more. Went from 100 to 200. This might be kind of really strong actually. So I don't think Barley overall got nerfed. He honestly might have overall got a buff if you have his star power. So it'll be interesting to see how much the projectile move speed affects this. But that's a really big increase of healing for Barley. Alright, and then Dynamite also got a buff. His Dynamikes now deal 11% more damage. Um, this is a good buff for Dynamite. I would have liked to see the radius of his attacks a little bit higher. As I think it's kind of hard to hit with his main attacks. But now if you do hit, he's going to deal a lot of damage. So he now deals a ton of damage with his Dynamite. So that's interesting at the least. And then Spike got a buff as well. Spike got a his reload speed decreased by 9%. So he's now going to reload his main attacks a lot faster. So that's going to be interesting, the effect of that. I'm not really sure Spike needed a buff. He was one of the better characters on certain maps. He wasn't the most versatile. Um, he's now going to be probably really strong. So he's definitely going to be one of the better brawlers in the game now. And probably most game modes. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see the overall effect. But I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, and then Bull got some nurse, which is great. I think Bull was really, really strong. His health got decreased by about 4%, so not a lot, but a little bit. And then his star power now triggers at 40% health instead of 50, so I think that's a great change. Um, Bull, honestly, with his move speed and the star power at 50%, he was just so hard to kill, and he did a lot of damage. So now the star power triggers at 40%, but it's even less health than... It being 40% of his old health as well because his health got decreased too. So it's even less than 40% compared to old bull. So this is a good change for bull. He's definitely going to deal a little bit less damage and he's going to have a little bit less health. So that's good as well. El Primo got a buff. His health got increased by 3.4%. So not a big buff. I don't know if he needed a buff. Um, I think if you considered the old balance changes he did. But since some of his... Um, well, I don't know. I guess Colt and Ricochet got nerfs, but not really damaged nerfs per se. So I think this could be justified. Uh, it's, you know, just a small change. Um, I think he will be a little bit better and a little more versatile. And he'll probably be one of the best options in Brawl Balls with the Mortis nerf as well. So that'll be definitely um, interesting to see as well. All right. And then Daryl also got some uh, buffs. His health got increased by about 9%. And... His attack damage got increased by about 12.5%. I'm really surprised by this. Daryl's going to be really strong now. Um, probably as strong as Old Bull. He has a decent amount of health and is going to do a lot of damage. And he has a good amount of range. So his chip shot might actually be not that bad now. I think Daryl's going to be really strong in a lot of different game modes. You know, his super doesn't transcend in every single map. But it's definitely an interesting super. And he's going to do a lot of damage and have a good amount of health. And then Bo also got a buff. A health buff of 12.5%. So Bo is going to be one of the better jump carriers now for sure with a, that much health. Um, and going to be more transcendent in other game modes. Not a huge change, but the health is definitely going to give Bo some love. I want to see Bo have more consistent damage. I don't like how if you're strafing left or right, 
his attack acts differently. I would love to see something done with that instead of a health increase. I don't really think that's his problem. But hey, you know, you got to take what you can get. And then Jesse got some buffs as well. I think that's good. Jesse sort of needed some buffs. She wasn't that strong in, in particularly anything. Uh, so Jesse's health got increased by 14%. And then her star power healing got increased by 33% from 600 to 800. I don't really think the star power needed to be uh, any better. It already heals up the turret, a lot of the turret's health per shot. So I don't think that was needed. I think it was great that Jesse got more health. I really think that was an awesome change for Jesse. Because if you compare her to other brawlers at her health range, she just doesn't have the same damage or utility as those brawlers. So now she's going to survive a little bit longer and it's going to make her a better support character. So I really like that. And her turret's going to be pretty hard to kill now if you have her star power. All right, and then Poco got some buffs as well. His reload speed got decreased by 10%, and his star power got increased by 50% from 200 to 300. So these are great changes for Poco. There's a lot of good jump carrier options for Smash and Grab. Now, Bo, uh, Pam, and Bo are all going to be pretty similar level. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top as far as the better jump carriers in Smash and Grab. But Poco might be a little bit better than other game modes too. Going to be able to do a little bit more damage. But I don't think it's going to be enough. He's still going to mostly be just a smash and grab brawler. Alright guys. So those were all the balance changes. Let me know what you guys think of all those balance changes. Which one you liked the most or which ones you didn't like. Alright guys. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you later.